Hello everyone, welcome. This video is the solution for the Python beginners exercise and which is at the easy level. So let us see it. You are given a string and your task is to swap cases. In other words, convert all lowercase letters to uppercase letters and vice versa. So here for example, if the input is Pythonist, so here we have the characters in uppercase and lowercase and uh, the output is being uh, the Pythonist, the same word that we have, but here the characters are swapped. Uh, swapping the characters means that uh, those characters are swapped into the lowercase if they are in uppercase and into the uppercase if they are in the lowercase. So let us try to solve this. So first of all, I'm going to create a function swap and here I'm going to pass the string that I have and then I'm going to iterate through each and every character of the string that I have. So for i in string and I'm checking if i is in uppercase or lowercase. So for that, I'm going to use if else statements. So if i is equals to i dot upper so here we are converting that i uh, which is a character of string in a particular iteration and we are checking that whether this converted uh, i is equals to the original i or not so if that is true uh, we have to change this i to the lower case so for that initially i'm creating a variable results and it is being a string and here i'm going to add that i to that result as i dot lower so here if i is in uppercase just convert it into the lowercase and add that uh, uh, character to this result variable and if we complete that and i'm going to create this else statement here and just add the character for the result as i dot upper so in this case here this statement is converting uh, the upper case character to the lower case and here this is converting the lower case character to the upper case and finally in this function I'm going to return this result so if I want to use this function I'm going to call it swap and then the string I'm going to pass is the same thing that we have in the test case so let us say here I pass this pythonist and I save and if I run this yeah actually we have to print it so here we have just written that so I'm going to print that here now let me run this game yeah here we have seen the same output that we have in the text case so it is okay using this so here in place of this if else statements we use uh, the built-in methods of python so let us see what those built-in methods are so if we observe this if else statements here i'm going to return this i dot lower in case if that i is upper so i'm going to do the same thing here i dot lower in case if i dot the built-in method that we have is is upper so it will check whether this i is in the uppercase or the lowercase so it is checking whether uh, this i is the uppercase or not so else just return i dot upper and this is gonna be for i in string okay as we see here this is okay but i think that it would return uh, in the string type and that is because here we have the iterated characters so it will return a string so here i'm going to join them using this dot join so let me print this 
by joining them join so here i'm joining all the characters that we have uh, from the list uh, that list is because of the iterations that we have so it is uh, showing that as error yeah here we have not declared the variable string so your yeah, string is gonna be equals to this pythonist okay now let me run this code oh i have missed the string syntax yeah now let me run this yeah here we have gotten the same output as in a test case this line of code is just the simplified code of this function and here we just use this is upper method so similarly we also have is lower method we have this is lower method also that checks whether the character is in the lower case or not if we want the simplified code even we have a built-in method that uh, directly swap the cases that is swap case yeah this is the method that we have so it has uh, no parameters and let me run this yeah here we have gotten this so here this is the just the simplified method of doing all these steps so however here with this function we have built this swap case inbuilt method yeah for this video that's it i hope that you have understood something from this video and if you have any doubts let me know them in the comment section and for now just hit the subscribe button and the like button thank you